Okay, the motorcyclist goes around the loop. Explain at which point he feels the heaviest. Now, what does it mean he feels the heaviest? So this is to do with the reaction force that you feel. If you remember a person on a lift, uh, if they're standing still, for example, then it's this picture here. They're not accelerating and the reaction force and the weight uh, mg are balanced. So you, you feel your normal reaction force are. Well, if the lift is accelerating upwards, like in this situation here, then your reaction force is bigger than your mg and you feel heavier because um, um, the re reaction force, there, there has to be a resultant force towards the upwards because you're accelerating upwards, so your reaction force is bigger. mg does not change at all in this situation because mg only depends on the gravitational field strength and the mass of the object, which hasn't changed at all. The person's mass is still the same. You're still on the same planet, so nothing's the mg doesn't change in this case here the last situation r is sm uh, smaller because he's accelerating downwards so the resultant force has to be downwards so r is smaller so he feels less weight here so you feel heavier you're not actually heavier you just feel heavier because you what you perceive to be your reaction force is your weight um your your weight i'm sorry you, your reaction force is what you perceive to be heavy and heavy how heavy you feel um this one here you feel lighter and here you just it's just normal okay so in this situation the person going around in in a circle let's draw the force at each point here it, in each situation mg has not changed at all because that's just mass times gravity which hasn't changed so we draw the same size mg for all of them towards the uh, bottom of our planet um, what does change the reaction force here because he's going around a circle motion the result force has to be towards the center of the circle at the bottom so here he needs to um, he needs to have a bigger reaction force or so that the overall force is towards center here the reaction force is going to be something intermediate or here it's r obviously in these situations here the ones on the left and the right are quite complex because he's going to accelerate so we normally don't have to worry about these situations here in this situation here the reaction force is downwards because it's pushing him um, but it doesn't, and this is going to add up with the mg to create the resultant force downwards. The reaction force is going to be downwards and it's going to add up with the mg. Okay, so where does he feel the heaviest? Well, it's going to be in this situation here because that's when r is the biggest. Okay, the equation for that situation here is going to be r minus mg equals mv squared of r. While here, it's going to be r plus mg equals mv squared of r. So let's rearrange to get r as this object. So we rearrange the first equation, you get r equals mv squared of r minus mg. In the second situation, you get r equals mv squared of r plus mg. Now, if you're uh, obviously mg is a positive number because um, we're taking the absolute values of the magnitude of them so this number here will be the biggest this r will be the biggest because you're adding something positive together at constant velocity and constant radius